Uh, thanks, Phil, the Miracle Man. Phil is uh, a survivor of a couple types of cancer. And uh, let's see, uh, a whole bunch. And it's nice to have you here. Michael, I love you. I love your work. Thanks for the warm welcome. It's nice to be the leadoff hitter here. It's a very big conference issue. We've got a lot of new people. I like that. Uh, I'm Mark Lundholm. Uh, I've been cleaning sober since 1989, 31 years, which means I've run out of excuse. Stop clapping. Go not clap. I say that to run over you because one day I hope it's so common nobody applauds. Now, that being said, I'm happy to be clean and sober. Everything I have is a direct result of being a broken boy in a man's body at, at 60 years old. Uh, most of my day looks like this. <laughs> And I've met the last eight presidents of this country with a handshake or a hug. So if you think that you're sitting in a chair that you can't keep in a conference this big and this strong, this powerful, and this important, you're the only one who thinks that. Uh, my job today is just to uh, support the advocacy and the creativity and the, and the humanity. Uh, all those things that we have in common, instead of the boundaries that society says, we want you to stay in a group so we can count you and market to you. Uh, political stuff aside, uh, religion, faith-based, platform, place of grace is not my business today. What I'll tell you is it all works. Addicts find what they need and they get what they want. That's our gift. Addict, alcoholic. Now, if you're from uh, Faces and Voices, I don't want to fracture your sensitivity about using the word addict. I use words like trigger, addict, shame. I use a whole bunch of that stuff. I'm fluent in about 90 languages. You? Do you speak rebel? Do you speak survival at any cost? Do you speak incarcerated, even for a short stay? I do about 800 hours of clinical comical group every year and I'm not a clinician. I got no letters after my name and I never graduated from anything except county. What I'm allowed to do is talk about relapse prevention in very specific terms. Um, if you've got 30 years or more in recovery, stand up, please. 25 25 or more. Stay up. Stay up. Bill, you can sit up. You're 105 years old. You can sit up. 20 years. 20 or more. Okay. 15 or more. 10 or more. 10 or more years. 5 or more years. 1 or more years. Can we go to stand please? There's your evidence. God bless you for being flexible there, taking direction. Well, not like my sponsees. Uh, I'm a 12-step guy, and I'm not here to pimp for any process. This is many paths because they all work. If I want it, I'm going to find it. I was a suicidal guy. You can't stop me. If I want to go, I'm going to go. That's evidence-based practice right there. That's all I mean. I work for a whole bunch of facilities around the world. i got 10 different countries I'll be in this year. Thank you. Was it? Did you change the sound or do I have a brain tumor? What happened? Right <laughs> yeah, Phil. Phil's laughing at brain tumor. Good. All right. Phil, God bless Phil. He's like the Pope this week. He's got a lot of people in his care. I told him that last night. I was sitting outside the hotel and I was getting some peaceful time and some quiet time because I, I'm not very social, to be honest with you. I'm a comedian by trade. That's what it says on my tax return every year since I started filling out. It says, uh, thanks, thanks for getting that, God bless you. Normal people don't giggle at all, right there. Normal people go, why wouldn't you? You ever notice normal people have different ways of hearing things? Ask a normal person if they've ever been to jail, watch the face they get in jail. Ask somebody in here, how much time you done? You mean all together? You got categories, yeah. Normal people don't clap right there, brother. So I'm sitting outside the hotel last night, and Phil comes up and he goes, Hey, how you doing? You okay? I go, Yeah, I said, I, I love working for you, man. You're the Pope this week. You got a lot of people in your care. You're the divine miracle work. You got all these people together. And in his spiritual and inimitable, just beautiful way of saying things, he says, Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that's exactly what he said. And if that fractured you, it's the only time I'm going to use the F word today because I was quoting the Pope. It was just, it made me laugh really hard. 
so laughter is a gift, gift and it's, it's really, it's one of the things that I, I learned to do through trauma. Uh, I'm one of those believers that trauma is the source of all. Uh, and, and we're not here to argue. The argument I win is the one I don't have with you. Uh, I know that because I do a whole bunch of group here. I have a man of issues. <laughs> or I haven't done a drug, drug, drug or, or drink since, is because uh, if, if we are, are going to change some of the lives out there, we got to quit bragging so much about very, very little life we've spent. we got to brag about how many people we talk to, how many people we trust. i got three kids I raised. Uh, i got three kids from three different moms. I used to do a lot of poke and locals while I was touring, right? So as a comedian, was that too much touring? <laughs> Before lunch, that's a little rough, I know. I got a 31-year-old daughter, 21-year-old son, 12-year-old boy. Every 10 years or so, I make a kid. That's what I do. I'm about to do this weekend. Maybe I will go to an NAB. If you're Christian, pray for me. That's the job. What I do, what I'm allowed to do, what we're invited to do, please know this is okay for us in any language, any verbiage, whatever you choose is going to work because the passion comes through. Mine is humor. That's my big hammer. I had that since I was a raped kid. My dad was a child molester. At four years old, my job every night was to keep him off another kid who was smaller, younger, or weaker. That's a tough gig for a little boy. But I did it, and sometimes I did it too well. Now, if you want to know what that means or you don't have that trauma survivor stuff in your past, you can still speak the language of, I heard my family wasn't telling the truth. Things that you worked in the house, the spot house, didn't work as soon as I left the house. There's no shame there anymore. There's no, what could I have done different? What could I have done better? If all those things that kids ask themselves when they're not directed well. When I get to use that stuff, I learn to be funny as a shield. Between me and school, me and truth, me and them. Shield. Well, shield. And this is what I'll always tell a group of inmates, soldiers, astronauts, doctors, nurses. I get to work with populations beyond where I'm supposed to be allowed to work. Evidence-based practice, we just saw it. I know that humor works. It raises trust, it lowers shame, and it does it in a heartbeat. Especially if it's done well. Because I've learned to do it well. It says comedian on my tax return every year. What I could write, if I wanted to be 100% honest with the IRS, which I don't recommend for anybody. Uh, if I could, if I, if I wanted to be honest, it would say occupation. Then I would write man with a mental illness who's done a lot of spelling time, who's learned how to market. All of that is a skill so he can pay a lot of child support. That's what I would write. <laughs> that joke cost me nine grand a month. I'm going to tell it. Now there's guys in here going, dude, I thought I had a big titty. There's women going, I slept with the wrong dude. <laughs> Who knew? You okay, lady? You know what I'm talking about? God <laughs> bless you, you got that look. <laughs> you never sit in the front for a meeting. <laughs> Humor is a hammer, but a, a hammer has a certain job. A hammer, uh, I don't care if you're talking about sledge, ball, peen, finish hammer, if you're a construction person, uh, or, or a claw hammer. There's, there's, it, it's supposed to pound against something and stop the resistance. That's what humor does. It, it's done that my whole life since I was a four-year-old kid. I learned how to be funnier than the issue at hand. Now, sometimes a humor muscle atrophy is to the point where if somebody wants to use it, they get hurt. Atrophy, you know, shrinks to the point where Funny is painful, especially right now in the climate out there. The horizon out there says be safe, be, 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 uh, be safe, don't get sued. I get hired every year for the same reason I don't get hired by a lot of people. I have very few boundaries. But you and I make a difference because we're different. Same old, same old. You want to be in the, with the crowd, you're never going to go far when the crowd goes. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm inviting you to do it. God blessed you with gifts that most people at that table don't have. Yours is yours, mine's mine, and we do it all together. Many paths together. How many people came west to get to this room? Raise your hand. 
Raise a wild if you're gonna win something, for God's sakes. <laughs> Pretend you're in a crack house. Me! <laughs> Timid people don't get any crack. Haven't you learned that yet? Normal people don't laugh at that, but they don't laugh. <laughs> you're never gonna hear that in a crack house. No, 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 after you. I insist. <laughs> No, I have, I have an interview with IBM. I'll be here for a minute. How <laughs> many people here came north to be in this room? Raise your hand high. I'm going to win something. Okay. Anybody, come, anybody come east? How about south? Anybody come south? Wow. Yankees. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is a group. Be quiet. <laughs> Felt like I was back in detox there for a bit. <laughs> Wristband, bad snap. My mom's a Pisces. Oh, ah! <laughs> Those are people who worked at detox right there. God bless you for pointing up with people like me. Four point straight mental patients should never be allowed to shake hands with a city president or past president or travel. NCIC clears me to go to 10 countries this year. Why? Because I'm funny. <laughs> How did I get funny? Was rape. You realize the tools we have are because of the places we live, yeah. the people that we've been with. So my question every day to a group who is learning to walk away from shame, lessen the threat of their own behavior, get past that first thought we have that says, that'll be okay. My question to that group is, if you're a trauma person, what will you do with what was done to you? Because that's our gift. I raised a 12 year old boy right now with my ex wife, the plaintiff, and uh, she and I. <laughs> <laughs> funny to you, funny to you. Her name is Julie. She's got 24 years uh, without a drink or a drug. She's a 12 step lady. She's an NA lady. I'm an AA, NA. I'm bisexual. I go to both. <laughs> I wrote that joke in 1988, you can have it. I write for a living, but I think, I think so I can continue, to continue living. I, I lived upstairs a long time. What I would like to make this uh, a, a, a point of, of order for us is what you're doing is, is working. We don't always see it right away. And if we're impatient, we could go do something else that's safer, pays more, gets more attention, or is, is, is easier. I love what I do for a living. I write for a lot of people you know, uh, famous people. I, it's not my favorite job. I write for people that are famous and aren't funny. They're, it's irritating. <laughs> they want to appear to be well-rounded and have a layer of humor, and it's just not there. Anybody else consider themselves very solemn and serious? Raise your hand. Okay. Way in the back, brother. I saw you there. Way in the back. Way in the back. Are you are really solemn and serious? I, I, think that, I, I think you're messing with me a little bit. Okay, so you got a, you got a big joy muscle. Yeah. Yes? It's too late to say no now. <laughs> God gave you or the universe provided or atheist. Happy accident in your favor. We were given a humor muscle from birth to, to develop so that we can balance unfairness and booty, pain. In an honest fashion, humor is the greatest tool we have on this planet. This is a personal opinion, but I've seen it work for people who didn't want to talk to me. 20 minutes later, they're telling me stuff they haven't told their parents, their priests, their PO, anybody in their whole life. Why? Because I'm a goof. I'm no threat. Humor's not the threat. A hammer's not a threat. I can tell you a hammer makes a certain sound. I grew up in Oakland, California, born and raised. The only white family for about 20 blocks. We didn't care. We didn't care. We all had what everybody had, very little. There were levels of pain, there were levels of trauma, there were levels of deceit, there were levels of betrayal, levels, there were levels of intoxication, levels of color. I was popcorn. <laughs> Mr. Earl next door, how you doing popcorn? <laughs> I'm good, Mr. Earl. It was Mr. Auntie Miz, it was Miss. A lot of respect there. We knew everybody's name in the neighborhood. We watched their kids if they worked at double. If they were sick, we mowed their lawns, and went to services and brought them food. We were a community. We knew everybody's name on that street. How many neighbors do you know the names of right now? We've gotten away from, because we're so fast with technology, we're so slow with humanity. I love the drum. I love the, that song was from their Christmas album. 
<laughs> I wrote that sitting right back there. I wrote that. I'm funny. I'm funny today. Did I offend anybody? Did I offend? Okay, I hope not. You alright, brother? Yeah, I don't want you mad at me. I saw the movie. Alright. <laughs> Here's what we're allowed to do. We're allowed to address a topic that's otherwise unspoken because maybe it's gentler, uh, uh, funny, and here's, here's what I'd like to caution you uh, or, or invite you to. Uh, invite's a better word. This week, the work you're doing, here, there's a lot of work in networking and there's a, a bunch of great speakers. We got creativity, we got Shannon Egan over here. Her workshop tomorrow's at 1.30. She's up to stand up, like young lady. Please, I should have said please. Very, very powerful. Uh, 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 Jan Brown, is Jan Brown in here? Jan? Jan was still in here. Jan Brown. She's today at 1.30. Right? I'm going to do a workshop tomorrow at 1.30 called Self-Care and Health Care. And I'll tell you what. Here's what I'll tell you. A little pre preview for tomorrow's workshop from me. 1.5 funny CEs. That's what you get. <laughs> and little things like this to take with you. You want to do a better job? Do your own work. You carry the message out. Okay, so here's a t-shirt you can get on the website. More care, more carry. No care, no carry at all. How many of you go to work 20% healthy? 30% healthy? 100% fatigue? That's not the client's fault. It's not the inmate's fault. It's not the kid's fault. I get to work with adolescents and small kids. I speak 90 languages. How many do you speak? I speak adolescent. I speak Christian. I speak fourth grader. I'm fluent female. <laughs> I am. No, I am. I've had great. Don't shake your head at me. I know. <laughs> Any guy want to be fluent female? Twenty second course. Any guy want some help? All right, brother. Right. It's a great shirt. What color is it? Orange. No. No. That's peach. Fluent right. <laughs> female. That's peach. It's like a wedding dress. Right? Wedding dress is always white. I don't care how many guys she slept with, it's white. She could be her fifth marriage. White. Oh, that was our boundary today, really? Oh, sorry, didn't know. Didn't know virginity wasn't here. She gets a dress that's blue, right? Is it teal? Is it seafoam? Is it periwinkle? Is it navy? Is it sky? Is it midnight? $80 dress for that bridesmaid. Teal, periwinkle, $800. More expensive to be more specific. Fluent female. You got a girlfriend right now? No. Got a boyfriend right now? No. <laughs> These days you gotta keep asking. I'm in rich. You can identify as an oak tree. We'll get along. We're cool. Right. I don't care where you point your privates, indoor plumbing, outdoor plumbing, who turns them out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I hope you make love to somebody you like. You ever, you ever work on your self-esteem and, and you, you pick a partner and, and it's too early to be in a relationship? Self-esteem so low, you look at that person, oh, you're making love, and you go, I can't trust them. Look at the choice they made. <laughs> That's a tough game. That's not a great night. <laughs> you, you ever had a girlfriend? Yeah. A few. Oh, look at you. Okay. <laughs> going to jail how many times? <laughs> All right, when she said I have a suggestion, you know what she was talking about? <laughs> al -Anons, roll it back. Don't help them. <laughs> Codependent people. I'll do it for him. <laughs> That's what he likes. <laughs> it's easy to spot the codependents in public. They have a mating call. Aww. an enabler in heat. <laughs> Aww. If you're a hardcore addict, any private, any direction, and you hear, oh, don't you kind of go, <laughs> that's hot. I like that. I like that. That's needy and hot. That's needy is hot. Borderline is hot. <laughs> They probably still got good credit and bad boundaries. That's a good that's, that's a that's a good for that up here. When 
she says I have a suggestion, what did she mean, Romeo? <laughs> it's more like a directive. It's more like a directive? Okay. Is that how you took it? So what are your balls in a jar in your garage at home right now? You want to go visit them this weekend? You're going to go say, I miss you, boys. How you doing? I'll get you back Super Bowl Sunday when I get to go home. How you doing? You don't have your own opinion? You can't have a, a conversation? You, you, conflict is the end of the relationship for you? You're, you're putting that on her. Huh? You, you make no friends in here with I, I don't, Listen, I'm not psychic, but I don't see any sex in your near future. Not the way you're talking right now, Peach. Sorry? Well, make me your accessory. It ain't going Kind of how it can go in group when I'm working with a bunch of men. I I, I, I don't I, I hope I didn't fracture anybody that was female here or or a, a very super gay male. I hope I didn't fracture anybody. I love this group so far. I love this group. I was watching you guys from the back, that's something I learned a joke. But what happens is this. Right? There's two things that you can do there, right there, and this is seriously how the rest of your life will go. And I'm not t telling you about your life, I'm telling you, this is how we navigate hope and experience and strength and worth and esteem and, and productivity and passion. Life. You and I, brother, what's your first name for real? Jake. Jake? J-A-Y. J-A-Y, okay. Uh, J, J was too, too much? <laughs> The letter would have been fine, right? <laughs> oh, you gotta have all of it. Yeah, that's what an addict would say. I gotta, I gotta get all of it. <laughs> Jay, what happened just now? We're not rolling around in county dirt. Nobody's uh, taking a plastic tray, breaking some guy's neck. All that stuff that happens on the yard. Some kind of big dog. Uh, 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 Testosterone performance where we got to take each other on. You played very nicely there, very well. You did, it, it's not easy to be singled out in a group of 300 people. You did really well. There's two things we can do, and it's either or. There's no third choice, and you can't do both. You have to decide. When stuff like this happens in group, uh, with politics, with an argument, with, with any kind of conflict, we can take it personally or look at it truthfully. There's no third choice. Hmm. If you'd have taken that personally, it'd been a different conversation. You looked at it truthfully, went step by step by step. I didn't abuse you, you didn't abuse me. Two men respect each other, and that's good. I got a little estrogen in me. How about you, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole bunch of brothers in here, bikers and leather people, and went, well, look at his shirt. <laughs> that's a soft man right there. <laughs> I don't care what you look like, brother. That made me hot. <laughs> yeah, you want to go to coffee? <laughs> That's the AA pickup line. You want to go to coffee? <laughs> I like to get to share. You want coffee? Yeah, coffee. <laughs> Some of us go to coffee. <laughs> NA, NA's got a different pickup line. You want to get tested? You want to go? What? I got Buster. <laughs> tested, tested, Buster, Buster. What? Tested, Buster. <laughs> Now. So you've worked for so many people. Okay. Now you can take that personally or look at it truthfully. I'll give, I'll give you an example. Uh, Jay, you were a great sport right there. Uh, any estrogen at what level? How, how, does it, how does it manifest itself? The estrogen, you, that's, it's physically not supposed to be possible, but hey, all flavors these days. 31 flavors. Remember Baskin Robbins? How old are you, Jay? 44. 44. So you remember things that uh, a 30 year old in here won't remember. Anybody 30? It'd be 30 or, or, okay, 30, how old are you? I said 30 or under, 32 or The argument I win is the one, you ever wish you'd invited one less person to the keynote? Workshops at 1.30 tomorrow, you better be there for me. I'll teach you a thing or two. I, I, I won't teach you anything, probably. I'll, I'll just remind you of stuff. Tomorrow, I'll remind you of where the hope is and the experience, what it's for. Experience, strength, and hope. You hear that in 12-step. I'm going to share my ESH on Facebook. Uh, yeah, it's all those code words that we have for not breaking our anonymity, all that BS that we do when we just want people to come out. I'm not advertising, but, but I, I'm going to tell you tomorrow, the ESH, the experience, strength, and hope, 
We break it way down. Keep it. You know, kiss is right. Kiss principle. Kiss. No, 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 no. A lot of codependence in here. Bro. Well, if, if you're a counselor, that's a career codependent. It is a professional enabler, right? Oh, I'll get to the coaches in a second. Right. Now you can take that personally. Right? Kiss principle. You know what kiss is? Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, what if? What if you're not a name caller? What if they already feel stupid? What if they already feel beaten up and less lower than whale shit, which is at the bottom of the ocean right now? What, what, what about keep it super simple? Can you use that instead? I'm going to do that for an hour and a half tomorrow. I'm going to give you alternatives that never fail, 100%. Not because I'm smart, not because I'm, 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 I'm intelligent or, 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 or educated, because I'm, I'm broken. How many languages do you speak that start with broken? Broken truth, broken trust, broken promise, broken commitment. I speak broken at about 90 levels. Keep it super simple. Hands in the sand simple, we'll say. Hands in the sand simple. What's the first thing they give you in the sandbox to play with, brother? Uh, shovel. What's the first thing they give you? Ski Man. Yes! It's not a shovel box! <laughs> what are the first tools they give you to play with the sand? Shovel. No! <laughs> Keep it super simple. That's what we do. Now, you're, you know, a whole bunch of people were with you there. Are, are we okay? I was yelling at you. That was passion, I think. <laughs> no, I know. You didn't even notice? No. So you got male abuser in your back. <laughs> you shut me right down. You shut me right down? And you didn't even move. Two, two are dysfunctional. I said, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> You're going to do great in this business. <laughs> I got estrogen in me. You too, Jay. I've started three conversations. In, in, in therapy, they call it par compartment logic. Right? <laughs> How high is the estrogen level today, Jay? Mine fluctuates. Yeah. Yeah, right? So so last week, I was I was super shishi lava, right? Monday... Monday, I had a facial. Tuesday, Manny Petty. Wednesday, pap smear. I, I had the whole thing. It was a great week. Who clapped for me having a pap smear back there? All right. Everything's cool. I'm good. <laughs> what we get to do is not take this personally. When they die, when they commit suicide, when they go out, when they don't stay uh, in remission, on track, clean the sword. I use a bunch of words tomorrow that don't have to be all uh, uh, semantics or fight about it. We don't have to fight about any of this. We don't have to fight before we get to the faith. A lot of people want it one way, done way. See ya. Uh, and they just they, they want it their way, and, and I get that. But I, I don't work like that. I get to work with thousands of us every year. I've worked with over 2 million of us in 31 years. That was documented a couple years ago. I quit counting. I'll meet about 4,000 people this week, and this weekend I'll work with about 16,000. 120 pounds shake and bake, look and cook, tweak and peak, thump and bump, street, Oakland addict who grew up scared to go home. I'm on the road 265 days a year. I got a boy who says, Dad, I trust you. Can I ask you a question? And you won't make a joke. Yeah, buddy. It's a great request. He asked me recently, he says, Dad, if I have a crush on a girl, should I tell her? He's in seventh grade. I said, uh, it's been my experience. She already knows. They're pretty sharp. They're way ahead of you. <laughs> he goes, how do, they, how do they know? I said, they just know. It's one of those questions we don't ask why. <laughs> the sun is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Water's wet, heat goes that way, and gravity goes that way. Your dad is a goof, and they already know. He goes, is that why they don't keep secrets? I go, especially from your mom. <laughs> What's our job? You know, look, uh, since, he was, since he was three or four, you know, right? we were powerless there for a second. <laughs> Yeah, keep talking. Thoroughly ever seen a person fail is rarely fall. <laughs> check, check, check. Post dated, out of state, government bounce. Check, check, check. Third party. Cocaine dealers don't take checks. Check, check. Check. Look at normal people. Oh, they don't. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. I never saw them in Breaking Bad. I have no idea. Right. You ever talk to normal people and they 
and you, you ask them questions, they, they ask the questions like, you don't drink anything? Oh, yeah, in case you have some water or coffee or <laughs> But no alcohol? No. Not even beer? Uh, no, that probably <laughs> So my boy, who's 12, he said, uh, he goes, Dad, I, since he was a little kid, he got divorced when he was four, Julie and I. And because, and I'll, I'll tell any group I work with this, uh, I get to work with a lot of uh, pregnant mothers, uh, addicted pregnant mothers. Uh, Oakland has a place called Mandana House. I still live in Northern California. There are no ex-children in a divorce. There are no stepchildren when you hook up. There are no ex-children when you, when, you, when you split up. They're your kids. I'll talk to a mother and she'll say, I got six kids, three from my, I go, that's a good way to say you got six kids. She goes, well, two of my mind, I got, well, six of them are yours. I'm not telling her what to do with her kids, I'm giving her an option. You can take that person and look at her too. How do you think the kids hear X or step? You think they don't separate from the family as soon as they hear step or X? Mm. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. There's a whole bunch of alternative ways, many paths to get to the truth. And this is the conference to do this. This should be on everybody's calendar every year. Last year we had 150 people, 180 people. This year it's twice that man. Something's working for them. Right? Now the only complaint I have is that I, I, because I'm that's my core. If I'm at the airport in public, I'm a, I'm a fractured kid. And my core, if you're a clinician, you know what I'm talking about, if you're a company coach, my core is, if I get to know you, if you get close, you're going to leave me, hurt me, or worse. That's my core. It's tough to walk away from that at 60, 31 years in remission. Whatever you want to call it, it's tough to walk away from hurt me, leave me, or worse. It's not a great day right there. So in my head, right? At the airport yesterday, TSA free. TSA free? That's the special line. Oh, where's the line before that? Where's the pre pre TSA free? Where's the line where they say, "Hey, Mark, get on the plane. See ya." <laughs> no kid. Where's the special? Anybody get like that? Any privilege and title? Anybody got any princess on beside me? <laughs> Raise your hand, Jay. <laughs> Entitlement. You speak entitlement? Anybody speak entitlement? Yeah! I'm in the line, TSA pre, and I'm waiting. Now, this is a long line, man. I got the TSA pre, so I wouldn't have to wait. It's 4.30 in the morning, Phil. It's four thirty in the morning, Phil. In San Jose, 4.30. I got line for you yesterday, 4.30. And I'm in TSA pre, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm thinking, where's the pre, 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 my first thought is, where's the line where they say, Mark, come up through, here's a coffee, a hand job, and a first class seat, here you go. <laughs> where's that line? <laughs> is that too much before lunch? <laughs> Not for Jay. <laughs> now, that joke would get me fired at Ben Ford, sir. <laughs> they would, they call me in the office, they'd say, excuse me, did you make that reference funny? Yeah. Why would you do that? Well, it's funny. <laughs> but not to everybody. If that's the only thing you remember, was, was it something I said? No. Codependent no, 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 no. no, 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 no. issues. Oh, do you? Who do you? Who, who, this is gonna be. My God said, oh. check on. It's it's. What is it? Who we talked to? Son. 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 How old's your boy? Uh, twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay. And, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I know, right? This is awesome. This, hey, she never runs a sheet. She never makes a mistake, right? We, we good? You okay? Oh, what's, what's the boy's name? Michael. Can I talk to him? <laughs> he's, not, he's not calling you from county, is he? No, he's at an appointment. His sister's actually checking on him. He's, he's at an appointment. All, all I text, they don't get a call. He's at an appointment for what? Try to get some help. Try to get some help? Housing. Oh, housing? He's got a baby. <coughs> and he's got a mama. He's got a 10-year-old. And they all get a gift. Now, I'm really sorry I asked that. <laughs> 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 no, I'd still like to talk to him. I would. I'd still like to talk to him. Yeah. He's got a 10-year-old and a brand new baby. He's got to do better spacing than that. That's, that's too long in between. He's got to hit that every, every six months. <laughs> So, God bless you, you were a good sport there. What's your first name, ma'am? You gotta see her name. What is it? Faith Wait. What is it? Two verbs. Faith Wait. 
faith wait? wait. Yes. Wow. Like wait? Like two verbs. Two verbs to believe. I, I know what a verb is. <laughs> But you, you, your name is Faith Wait? So yeah. Did your parents hate you? I married into it. I was an idiot. Why, why are you an idiot? Why would you be an idiot? I married into the name. Oh, you married into the name. His last name was Wait. Yeah. Why did you just make him do that? It's better. He was a doctor. Dr. Wait. <laughs> He passed away. Okay, so thanks for bringing the show to a halt right there. Oh, uh, God bless you. You got one of the best names of the spirit. I got a gift for you right now. I got, a, I got a present for you. I got a present for you right now. This, this. He was in recovery. How long? How long? Son's name, stand there, man. <laughs> Too busy for you, please. <laughs> He's patient as hell, I'll tell you that. He's done the phone. God bless you. You're welcome back anytime. Love you. Thank you. If your last name's Wait, you, you would need a name like Faith. I mean, that, that's, that's like saying, uh, uh, okay, I've, I've done enough time on Earth. All right. God bless you. Hey, thanks for the extra time today for moving the thing back. I know you want me to do a whole hour. I, I, I'm an, I know the smokers are going, how long is he going to talk? You know, people who get fresh air through a filter because they're taking care of themselves, you know? No, I'm not a smoker. I'm not. A, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Never. Sixty years. Never. I did heroin. I had boundaries. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> There's no surgeon general warning a syringe. I looked every time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and they're filthy. Cigarette people. They're, they're just germy. <coughs> they're, they're germy. I'm an OCD kind of broken. You know, T -T -T PTSD kid. I got PTSD for noise and germs and germs. But I'm selective. I'm selective. About it. Right? Select it, right? I'll, I'll sleep with a hooker, but I ain't smoking. I don't know what's in that cigarette. The workshop's at 1.30. I think we're allowed. Jay was a good sport. Faith was a great sport. Your first name, young lady? Mary Ellen was a great sport. I love the storytelling thing. Thank you for that, right? Uh, our storytelling doesn't have to be grandiose or very long. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing we share in my home group. I'm a Tulsa guy. I'm not going to apologize for that, but I'm not here to pin for any process. I ain't recruiting this ain't time share. It all works. It's worked for me. It's worked for five sponsees, males that I sponsor. It, it, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a hallowed program. But, but so is faith. So is uh, I'm tired of being in my own way. So is uh, I think if I use my tools instead of letting them become weapons, I'll be a better person. Humor's a hammer, but I ain't going to beat you up with it. A claw hammer is a very powerful tool if you want to build a fence for a new puppy so it doesn't run out of the street and buy a car because it doesn't know there's cars in the street. When we're uninformed, we need boundaries. When I was a new comic, I needed boundaries. I didn't have any very many. I didn't get to work a lot of places that were important. These days, I've done a lot of stuff. I even Google Mark L, just the letter L. You'll see pages of stuff on there. I'm too humble to tell you about right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which joke you just get? <laughs> Phil and I go back far enough to know that there's some old jokes here remembered, and one of them is we will delay the haha. 
THC. THC will slow down, let's see, uh, financial growth, emotional growth, relationship, uh, uh, you know, uh, success. It'll slow down THC. Everybody who smokes pot, legal or not in this country, should be made legally to wear a t-shirt all day so we know who they are. <laughs> Everybody who smokes pot, so we have a warning. They should be made to wear a shirt that says, wait, what? <laughs> Well, no, the pot person. Wait, what? Okay, you're a weak guy, you laugh. <laughs> the sense of humor. Uh, I was talking about the hammer. If you want to build something, a, a, a hammer's a good tool. Uh, I know the sound, uh, I, I hope this doesn't disturb you too much before lunch. I know the sound of claw makes when it goes into the human skull. Uh, I, I did a lot of time. I'm a felony guy. I got a fat jacket. Uh, I grew up in a house where if you didn't hit people, you were getting hit. You were hitting or getting hit, and one of those felt better for about a second. And that second of relief was worth it. These days, I don't fight. I don't hit my kid. I don't even yell at Grace. I don't yell at my, my boy because I know that if I, if I raise my voice, it just lowers, lowers my standards as a dad. Mm -hmm. Volume doesn't substitute for manhood. I don't have to yell at him. He's PTSD for noise, too. We think it was conception. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what <laughs> you never, you just never know, right? <laughs> that, that's a true story. A true story. <laughs> I don't yell at my ex-wife because, well, it's unproductive. It's <laughs> I got a medical fat, loud, arrogant man is the number one cause of vaginal dryness. So. <laughs> Write that down, man. Write that down. Jay. 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 <laughs> so because I want to be gentle with the, with the smokers, I do know that passion. I, I do know that passion. God bless you. I, 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 I make fun of you, but you can take it personally today or you can look at it truthfully. And if we look, I, I'm not, I'm not, hey listen, I make fun of me more than anybody else on this planet. That doesn't give me a right to make fun of you, but if we do trade barbs with each other, or trade truth with each other, why is it so painful? There's only one answer to that. I'm taking it personally, instead of looking at it truthfully. You, I, I'll, I'll do this in group all the time, uh, about words. Loser, uh, uh, do you ever get really upset? You're really upset? Can you be loud? Can you be? I, I, my gut says you got to switch in you. I read people like newspaper paper. <laughs> you know, if, hey, trauma kids always have an antenna. Lust, trust, predatory, sexual, all. Who's in the room? Bitch, snitch, punk, drunk, bore, or They're all in here, right? And, you know what I'm talking about? You ever get in an elevator? <laughs> Not very bright. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You were driving a highway and see a guy in a Porsche go, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Any guy drive a Porsche in here? <laughs> Bill? Bill? You got a pickup? Look at you, Mr. Humble. God bless you, Bill White. <laughs> How'd they get you off the boat today? You live on a boat, right? A what? A marine community? You live in a... Alan, when I want your help, I'll ask you. We're having a conversation here. Do you mind, Phil? Phil, I got a gift for you for being the father of this thing. You're the father of this whole conference, you know that? No. Yeah? Yeah, you are. You're too humble to do any of this and to take credit for it, but we know this is your gig. Thank you for being patient, waiting, and smokers, God bless you for hanging on.
one. I know it's a, it's it's hard, right? I don't uh, I don't I don't smoke cigarettes. Never have in my life. Uh, cigars, cigars. I I will when I play golf. Cigar because they're, they're not addictive. No, they're not. And, uh, and that, that cigar is it's an investment. It's a commitment. <laughs> oh, smart, long and thick and firm and dark. Who says no to that, right? <laughs> <laughs> even, even Dr. Waite's wife laughed at that, right? <laughs> what my challenge to you this week is, what are we taking personally and what are we looking at truthfully? And if we look at it truthfully, we get to do our own work. That's self-care and health care. More care, more carry. I get to carry the message. I'm on the road 265 days a year. I'm 60 years old. I fly 150,000 miles a year. I'm not banging my chest. I'm telling you that I run hard all year. And I love what I do because we can't, we're never running out of customers. They're, they're, they're coming out of the woodwork like zombies at dusk in the movie. That's the picture I see every time I go into a group and work. And I don't care if it's four people in detox who I didn't know I was there, or 300 inmates at the Oregon Reformatory for Women in the middle of the state where I get to go once a year and do workshops about caring for kids. Because the kids don't know what they don't know. And it's the next generation of inmates, soldiers, captives, addicts, Narcan survivors, that's what we're doing with every day you go to work. You've never saved anybody. Ever. Every day you go to work as a coach, as an advocate, as a healer, as a nurse, as a counselor. Every day you go to work, you might be the one that convinces them to help themselves. Because if they don't want it, they can't have it. And if they don't want it, we can't give it. But if we're not doing our work, they will know. They're wounded animals uncaged. Every time you go to group, work with a family, it's a zoo with all the cages open, you're the keeper, and they're mixing around. There's a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow I'll go into. I'm not pitching for my workshop. we got a bunch of people going at the same time. There are six speakers every track, right? you got to choose between Patty McCarthy, you got to choose between Ryan Hampton and Shannon, you got to choose between Janet Brown and five other people. Next year, we're working on it, there's going to be a cloning booth. <laughs> so you don't miss anything. Yeah. Everybody gets to go to everything. I just made that up. That's a 10 step. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Try this this week with anybody you're working with. Ask them what their first thought is. That's the gentle way to approach this. My, my, my privilege is that I have first thought wrong. That's my disease. Nature nurture? I don't know. I don't care. I just know that I have a clinical condition called first thought wrong. That's keep it super simple. Hands in the sand, simple. First thought wrong. If I do one, I'm not addicted. If I do that, it's because I wasn't addicted to all that. Uh, if she doesn't find out, I wasn't cheating. Uh, if I start tomorrow, it'd be better. If I say it loud, they'll understand. If I say it the right way, I know they'll finally get it. Alan, I'm codependent, enabler, doormat. If I just fix the right words or love them enough, It'll counterbalance the chemical imbalance they have. First thought wrong. First thought wrong all day. Second thought worse. Fourth thought. Fifteenth thought. Sixteenth homicidal. I'm not even out of bed yet some days. <coughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? First thought wrong. I make a living because of that. What will you do with what's been done to you? That's the gift to the universe. From the universe, we give it back. Ask yourself this week, am I taking it personally or am I looking at it truthfully? Because when I look at it truthfully, I'll do my own work. If I take it personally, I want to do your work and tell you all about yourself. <laughs> okay, that was a little late, but that, all right. That's pretty good weed, huh, man? This week, uh, today and tomorrow, I'll be at this back table here outside over your right shoulder if you sit face me. We write so I got the best merchandise in the planet for groups, for counselors, doing good group, humor and treatment. Anybody use any of my stuff in group? Raise your hand. Do they like it? Yes. Are we okay? Love it. Do they talk faster and easier? Yeah. Do they talk faster and easier? Less shame? Less shame, yeah. Quicker? Identify. Well, because I'm a goof and they know what goof. They speak goof. 
They might not speak counselor or clinical, and, and the difference between us is real simple. If you're a professional, you, you might have this conversation about a high school yearbook. There I am, there I am, there I am, that's high school yearbook. Me, the DSM-5. There I am, there I am, the, the, the 18 pages. There I am again. This week, I'm gonna look at it more truthfully and take it less personal. Anything. Anything going on politically, anything going on financially, anything, I'm going to do my part. My part is really important. We're pebbles in the pond. Look at the pebbles in the pond that are just in this room. I know you know what you're doing. I know you know how to do this. But if we take care of ourselves, we get to carry a bigger, broader message. Those who can't do, teach. Those who are doing, teach way better. Have a good week.